Let's talk about syntax for functions. The code above contains the following elements. Return, return value, is a keyword that ends the function and returns a specific value into the caller expression. A return value can be any expression or variable that stores a value containing the functional call result. As you know by now, it is the only thing that makes functions different from procedures. Now we can consider one of the previous programs that is a good example of how functions work. Here we return the string on completion of the function. Notice that the return value depends on conditional if. Actually, the function ends on one of return keywords, and the program simply skips the code below. The problem might occur if the function does not return a value at the end. For example, if we fail to code the return of the function in the second, we pass these parameters to the procedure. We have replaced procedure range from the previous chapter with the corresponding function. As you can see, we are able to use the return value of the function to pass it to the built-in method message. Finally, we can consider some module navigation techniques. To view the list of all our functions and procedures, click this icon or press Control, Alt, and P. The button Go To takes the cursor to the string with the selected procedure. Also, we can access all used functions and procedures via the drop-down list, as in 